what is up y'all welcome back to the channel i got something good for y'all today glad to have you guys here y'all already told by the title it is probably a little hyperbolic knowing myself and my tunneling habits however not entirely untrue as uh one might find um if you guys are brand new here i am your boy the f2p god himself f2p god i already said that uh 12 inch beat venus glad to have you all here this is going to be a vid on why i think archers are currently a bad investment doesn't mean they're forever a bad investment doesn't mean they're the worst investment it means that they're not a good investment perhaps not a good first investment we're going to go over early mid late game why i don't like them as investments at basically any of these points and then we're going to talk about when you should invest in them if you guys like content like this please consider like following subscribing sharing it with your friends really would appreciate that a ton if you guys want to help support the channel you guys can always donate to the Streamlabs link in the description below that's the number one way, way to help support us and keep us full time and if you guys are looking for private coaching we do private coaching on stream for 35 bucks a session and off stream at 75 bucks a session you go to the discord description below and you make a ticket with that all out of the way um let's just hop right into it boys first things first early archers super super suck they're really really bad the only good early game archer is obviously gonna be ysg and his best use is gonna be if you only have one cavalry march probably like mina ysg or for like a really cheap good cavalry march or sun tzu ysg for like a really good cheap infantry march uh even if you were to go further up you'd probably want to run something like charles martel ysg perhaps thutmose ysg is probably just something you really don't want to run el Cid is certainly certainly not viable when it comes to uh investments inside of him so if you are running um some kind of archer march early game talking about the vast majority of players and especially for the open field thutmose is not bad he's not horrible he's just not worth your gold sculptures as you know we talked in the previous video about this you guys saw the uh kvk1 commander breakdown not a huge reason to ever invest in thutmose not a huge reason to ever invest in el Cid. Therefore, if you invest in archers early game, or specifically, you know, to run archers, it's not gonna be very strong. I mean, like, Herman, Kusunogi, Amotep, they're not weak, they're okay, right? They're just, you, you don't wanna be an archer player. So if you invest in YSG, you don't invest in to him for him to be an archer, you invest in him for him to be a secondary to another troop type. Mid game, archers are actually horrible. They're horrid, it's disgusting, it really is the worst of the worst. Edward of Woodstock is probably one of the worst commanders to ever grace this game. He's really bad. There's not much else to it. Mid game, if you want to run an archer march, your best, single best primary is going to be Alexander the Great Expertise. Would I suggest most people expertise this man for KBK2 to run his primary to YSG? No, you could just run Sun Tzu and probably be all right. But again, if you wanted the single best field march, it's not going to be Edward, it's going to be Alex. And even if you didn't have Alex and you wanted to run, say, a cavalry piece as a primary to YSG, you'd probably end up running something like Saladin. Saladin YSG, Mina CC, maybe something with Baybars, and you have a couple different pairings there that would probably all do pretty well. You're really not trying to run uh, YSG as an archer, even in KVK2. KVK1, you don't have a lot of meta pairings. You also don't want to run archers in general. KVK2, um, the meta pairings for YSG, which is going to be the only archer that's really going to be viable, are both going to be archer or are both going to be infantry and cavalry pairings, similar to KVK1. An archer commander could be a good first investment when it comes to a legendary pre sock commander. However, it's not an investment for archers. So an archer commander, but not archers, right? No plural. We're only using them as a secondary for other things. So we talked about beginning stages. We talked about mid game, right? Both these things are not very complicated. They probably took like 45 seconds to break down each. Now is the more complex spot. And we're going to talk about late game. So archers in the late game are not going to always be horrible. And there could be a chance that Lilith changes the way um, the archer wheels come out at some point, And so they're much easier. The reason why archers are so bad as soon as you transition into all the commanders is because your first wheel is going to be cavalry, your second wheel is going to be infantry, and your third wheel is going to be archers. This means that there's going to be 14 days for the first wheel, right, to the second one, and then another 14 days to the third wheel. So assuming you get your first wheel maybe, I don't know, seven days into the KVK, so it's going to take you 21 days of KVK before you see the infantry wheel, and it'll take you 30 35 days of KVK before you see your archer wheel. 35 days is a very long time, right? These are all the ruins and past fights that you're missing. Frankly, I don't think it's worth it, especially when there's so many good infantry and cavalry commanders. 
Um, and even with the release of Herman and possibly future commanders, when whoever's watching this video is watching this video, the delay on these uh, archer commanders is simply too much to justify, I don't think, especially when your technology is going infantry, cavalry, archer in that order. Archer is going to be your last T5. They're also going to be the last troop type you see in KVK. And again, there's no need to pair YSG with an archer. You could just run YSG with Scipio. Even Nevsky YSG, I have seen have some success, but there's really no need to run it when you can just run Scipio YSG, Scipio 5551 YSG. Does really well. Another thing is archers are super duper slow. So even if you did get them before combat, some of the fastest archers right now, like if I were to invest in a pairing, I'd probably invest in something for YSG or something with uh, Memet as a secondary, or maybe Athelflaed as a secondary. And that investment would probably be something like, I think ZL would be my investment that I consider right now. Perhaps Herman would be a better investment. And so Herman or ZL would both be okay primary investments. Boudicca is going to be a much more consistent investment, um, especially because she has like good skill damage reduction and she has good uh, movement speed. Not great movement speed, but okay. With this kind of stuff in context, like the archer pairings are like ZL YSG is a very strong pairing damage wise. However, it's a very weak pairing march speed wise and you really can't enter these really big socks pretty early game since your kvk3 and your kvk4 are both like relegated towards early game kingdoms um even an imperium in these kingdoms is not going to have like the murder balls that imperium and late game ki kingdoms have and even if you are in a late game kingdom again b c or d if people see a zl they're gonna focus it down people might still focus down on Boudica, but you don't want to invest in Boudica, and they'll probably still focus that down as well Whereas like cavalry have a lot more flexibility and Scipio generally doesn't get focused down period. So food for thought in that direction. Not the best commanders in the meta period. ZL is an exceptionally strong commander. Um, however, he's not the best commander I would say in the meta. Um, commanders that would take like my top spots are going to be something like, I think Scipio might be one of the strongest single commanders in the game. Nevsky might be a close number two and number three might be, could be Joan of Arc. Could be lc perhaps something like that point is is like there are many stronger commanders and they're all not archers <laughs> um so zl is like an awesome commander he's just not an awesome let's say like first or second march i think they're like generally pretty inflexible and they are hard to run by themselves especially in lower seed it's the lower seed kingdoms um, generally your archer pairings are going to be something with ysg and not really anything else whereas like scipio can go scipio Mehmed, scipio ethelfled scipio ysg scipio lc scipio alex any pairing really anybody you have you can kind of run as a secondary to scipio uh with nevsky you can go like nevsky mina nevsky Mehmed, nevsky joan there's just a lot of different pairings you can do and that you can make work Whereas like archers are like, do you have YSG? And then when you pull YSG off the Scipio, then you have to look for a replacement, which is not impossible. It's just like, how fast do you want to go to three marches? Do you want to run an archer as a third march? That's enough crapping on the archers. I know you guys are like, where's the archer defense? When are we supposed to run them? Okay, we're not supposed to run them early. We're not supposed to run them mid. We're not supposed to run them late. When do we build them? Good question. You should invest in archers generally March 3 or March 4. I personally invested in my archers, I believe it was March 3. But the reason why I had to do that is because I'm free to play. So I would say at the absolute earliest, I would consider going for Scipio 5551 with a YSG, or if you don't have a YSG, Scipio 5551 with a Mehmed, and then you go for a Nevsky, and you either go for a Joan of Arc at 5x15. Uh, X, X just means you can go whatever skill for Joan second. The first thing we want immediately is we want Scipio as soon as we transition. I already have like two transition videos. I guess here's a refresher if you don't have one. So the first thing you do, you drop in, you build your Scipio to 5551 if you don't really have any sculpts. If you're coming in with like a thousand sculptures, perhaps you can consider expertising Nevsky off rip. You can go Nevsky with Minamoto if you already have him, double relic, great choice or Nevsky with a 5-1-1-5 Joan or 5-5-1-5 uh, Joan. It's completely fine as long as her third skill is one or two and her fourth skill is five. Scipio doesn't have to be with YSG, but again, Scipio, Nevsky, pretty easy, right? Um, then your third march at that point, right? You could pull the YSG off of Scipio and the YSG could go on, let's say Herman, let's say ZL, something like that. And then the Mehmed could plug back into Scipio or the uh, Ethelflaed could plug into Scipio or a 5-5, five, five, 1-1 one, one LC could go into Scipio. Those are all fine options, right? The thing is, is the Archer March is just gonna come as your third. Now, if you are, let's say, like a, like a little bit of a higher spender and you have uh, way more sculptures coming to Season of Conquest, you're looking at something like 1,300, 1,400 as soon as you land. 
Perhaps you could consider something like 100 spinning your first cavalry wheel, making sure you unlock uh, Nevsky and QB and perhaps Joan. Um, then you can run something like Nevsky Expertise with Minamoto, QB with a 5551, um, and then you could run like a Mehmed secondary or a Joan uh, 5x15 as a secondary. Then when the, the Scipio wheel comes around, then you can run uh, Scipio with YSG. Pretty strong options, right? And then after that, then you bring in your ZL or you bring in your Herman. You bring in something like that. Then you bring the, the Joan of Arc onto the QB. You bring the Mehmed up to the Scipio um, or you bring a 5511 LC onto Scipio and then boom, whatever your new archer is with YSG. Pretty easy to do, pretty easy. I would say like checklist. Again, if you guys uh, need some more information on this, you guys can always check out my uh, transition video. There are plenty of times to invest in archers. Archers are not terrible commanders in general. They are simply weaker as a primary investment. As a tertiary or quaternary investment, they're probably fine. Um, I myself am obviously running uh, multiple archer marches. If you guys have not seen my march list, it looks something like this. Um, where it's, you know, Guan Sip, Alex LC, ZL YSG, and Ethel Flood is a stand-in for Herman. I assume it's going to be something like uh, Boudica Herman or Boudica YSG with like ZL Herman, something like that. Um, and then Nevsky Joan, obviously. So my five march actually contains two archers, even though I think archers are pretty weak as a first investment. Archers were my third march and my fifth march um, in terms of overall investment. So with that context, pretty good, right? They're pretty good in the open field. I like what they do, um, but I could not invest in them first uh, or second or third and fifth. So very strong marches later to invest. And I think that's kind of the, the story of how this is going to go. If you guys enjoy content like this, please consider dropping a like, following and subscribing. If you guys want to send anything, we have our PO box open. You guys can send anything you guys want um, from t-shirts to alcohol to snacks to whatever. Super cool. Just seeing what you guys have. Other than that, guys, if you guys want to see uh, whenever we post or whenever we go online or whatever announcements we have, the number one place to get that is the Discord in the description below. With that being said, guys, I'll catch you fine gentlemen later. Thank you so much for watching. Love y'all all to pieces.